morning, everyone. Opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book. Number 341, 341, Save Your People. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. One thing I ask, O Lord, this I seek, to dwell forever in your house, that I may gaze on your loveliness all the days of my life. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. For you will hide me in the shelter of your wings and from the arrows of my foes. You set me high on a mountain top. Save me from my distress. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Patrick, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Adrian Haynes, for Singrid Bachman, and for the holy souls in purgatory. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the people of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all guilt, accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, Our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has returned from them. I will be like the dew of Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the forest of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressions transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. 
I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I hear a voice I had not known. I relieved your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Oh, hear, O oh my people, while I admonish you. O oh Israel, if you would but listen to me. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I, I would feed you with the finest of, of the wheat, and with honey from the rock I would satisfy you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to the Lord. One of the scribes came near and asked Jesus, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength. And to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Today, when the whole world pretends they're Irish, it's very important for us to remind ourselves who truly St. Patrick is. He was a bishop of the church who reminded the people of God that we are to live according to the commandments of today's gospel. It's not about green beer. It's not about wearing green and being a leprechaun. It's about the way we have our relationship with God and one another. And so, as we, those who are, have a devotion to St. Patrick, pray the beautiful prayer, the breastplate of St. Patrick, it speaks about this intimate union with God, Christ before me, Christ above me, Christ below me. It's this awareness of God moving in our lives. So I encourage each of us, as you are here at Mass, which is the proper place to be on St. Patrick's Day, not at the bar, but at the altar, right, is that we actually use the example of St. Patrick, call upon the intercession of St. Patrick, and be and model ourselves like he who loved God much, so that we, like he, will share in Christ's glory. Acknowledging our dependency on God and for all good things, we offer to him our petitions. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may the Lord give us the grace to hear and follow well his commandment to love him and our neighbor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in creating policies that respect all life from conception until natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who live in fear of violence. 
We especially remember our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and Russia and through other war-torn countries in our world, that God may keep them safe and provide for their every need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for catechists in our faith community, that God may continue to bless and inspire them in their ministry, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, that more men and women will say yes to the call that God has in their hearts, as St. Patrick did, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died, marked with a sign of faith. We remember especially Adrian and Singrid, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that God may soon welcome them to his heavenly banquet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Gracious God, we ask that you hear and answer the prayers we bring to you today. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Adrian and Singrid, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Patrick, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in the sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Lenten journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Stations of the Cross take place tonight at 630. Save your people, O Lord. 
Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. Listen, O Lord, to the sound of my call, for I acknowledge my offense. Wash me and I shall be purified. I shall be whiter than snow. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. Thus will I bless you all the days of my life. Lifting my hands, I call your name. O Lord, remember your inheritance. Save your people, O Lord. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. God bless you. Have a good day.